Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and I will be your instructor in this course. In this course, I am going to teach you how you can make the cookie dough step by step, how to cut out the cookies and how to bake them to perfection to have them ready to decorate. And this is the first video of the series of how to make cookies. And in the description of this video, I will leave you the links for the other videos. And I am so happy that you are here, so let's get started. One of the things that is more important when you're going to decorate cookies is to have a nice, resistant and delicious cookie that is suitable to decorate. So in this class, I am going to show you how you can make a delicious and a still very resistant and sturdy cookie to decorate. Okay, over there. I have some of my ingredients uh, ready and um, every time that you're going to prepare a recipe it is always very good to have all the ingredients that you're going to need can make the cookies fast. These cookies are very quick and easy to make. Uh, the cookie dough is very simple. I always make them using a stand mixer. I am going to double the recipe that you have and if you double the recipe you are able to make maybe like about 48 to 50 three inches um, cookies and um, it is a very good recipe and um, let's get started. In the description of this video I will leave you the link for the recipe. And remember that the quality and the freshness of your ingredients are going to determine how delicious is going to be your cookie. Now let's start preparing our cookie dough and I am going to bring a bowl and a sifter and we are going to sift the flour with the baking powder and the sizzle. I am going to start by putting 3 cups of bleach flour. Bleach flour is known to be very good for cookies. Now I am going to add the sea salt and then the baking powder. Sifting your flour is always very important, not only for all your ingredients to be combined, but also if the flour makes some big lumps like this, it is very good to dissolve them. And these little balls I am going to throw them away and then I am going to add the three other cups of flour. I like to use sea salt and also I like to use aluminum free baking powder. Now with a clean spoon I am going to mix the flour again so all the ingredients are very well combined. And I am going to set it aside. The mixer that I am going to use is the KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus. You can make a lot of cookies in one time and I am going to use the paddle attachment. And if you don't have a stand mixer you can also use a hand mixer. Here I have my butter at room temperature and I am going to cut it in small pieces. I also take out the eggs from the refrigerator about 20 minutes ago to have them at room temperature. Here I have the sugar, if you see big lumps just dissolve them with a spoon or with your fingers. I have my mixer ready and I am going to cream the butter by itself for about 1 minute so it gets all soft and nice. And I am going to do this at medium speed.
Now I am going to start adding the sugar gradually and also I am going to increase the speed to medium high. And I am going to mix for 4 to 5 minutes. I always like to put a timer. And I like to stop my mixer here and there so I can scrape the size of the bowl so all the ingredients on my cookie dough are going to be well combined. Remember that this course was recorded live so if you want to speed ahead this part you can do it. Now that I finish adding all the sugar, I am going to stop my mixer and I am going to scrape the size of the bowl. And now I am going to set the timer for 5 minutes. In the meantime, I am going to crack the eggs. It is always very important to crack the eggs in a separate container. As you can see here, one piece of the eggshell fell into the egg, so before adding it to my mix, I am going to take that piece out.
now is a very good time to preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. And my timer is on. As you can see, the butter is very nice and fluffy and lighter in color. And I am going to stop my mixer and I am going to scrape the sides of the bowl once again. Now I am going to start adding the eggs one at a time, but first I am going to take out these pieces of shell. After each egg addition, you are going to beat very well and scrape down the sides of the bowl. And I will continue mixing at the same speed for about 2 more minutes. Very good, I am going to scrape the sides of the bowl once again and I am going to add the vanilla extract. I always like to buy a good quality vanilla extract so it gives a much rich flavor to my cookies. Then I will continue mixing at the same speed and I am going to mix maybe for about one minute and then I am going to add the flour mix. And now I am going to scrape the sides of the bowl once again. This is very important if you want a very homogeneous cookie dough. Now I am going to add the flour. Every time that I am going to add the flour to my cookie dough, I like to cover my mix with a kitchen towel so all the flour don't go all over my kitchen. And I am going to add the flour in three additions and I am going to mix at the lowest speed. And you are going to continue mixing until a ball is going to be formed and all the cookie dough takes out of the sides of your bowl.
always keep an eye on your cookie dough as you can see the dough is starting to make the bowl and I still have a little bit of flour so if you think that your dough is done don't put all the flour just use that flour when you are going to roll out your cookie dough and when I make the dough using the professional 5 plus KitchenAid mixer I like at the end to make some pulses at the highest speed so the bowl forms very nicely just be careful because your cookie dough can fly all over your kitchen This cookie dough is looking super nice and it is ready. So I am going to take it out and literally this cookie dough is ready to roll. Please continue watching the next video so you will see how to cut out the cookies. And thank you very much for watching and if you're new here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and see you on the next video.